Well, I'm on face of Mars. And I have to be red hot angry to put this video on YouTube. But I'm going to talk to you today about something called traction control. I didn't even know what it was. I knew my car was losing power when it shouldn't have been. Now, this is a piece... I, I'm going to say something... I don't like using liberal euphemisms. The liberal euphemism to describe these people would be mentally challenged. But I'm going to call them what I think they are, which is retarded citizens. Whoever came up with this. I said retarded citizens. I, I don't sit here and mock somebody who's disadvantaged. But in their case, yeah, I will mock them. Uh, these are retarded citizens who thought this up. It's called traction control. And basically what it does is it causes your car to lose power when you need the power. You get on a slippery surface. Now what happened to me last Thursday, Thursday night, that would be uh, the 15th, we had a major snowstorm here, and... I'm driving home, I'm trying to go uphill, and thanks to this piece of garbage called traction control, my car starts losing power. I had enough momentum to get up the hill if I wouldn't have lost power. If I'd had a stick shift, there never would have been a problem. I would have walked right up the hill, no problem. I have a front wheel drive. I would have walked right up that hill, no problem. But this piece of garbage called traction control that was thought, thought up by a retarded citizen, one or more retarded citizens, to think they can meddle in our affairs, it caused the car to lose power. See, they don't think these things through. And it's because they're retarded citizens. By the way, this website's from Canada, brainonboard.ca. That's Canada. As, here's a scenario. So you're driving uphill, and the sensors see the wheels are starting to spin a little. So they cut back on the power, which causes your car to slow down. And that, in turn, causes the transmission downshift, which in turn causes the wheels to start spinning. And then it cuts back on the power more, and before you know it, you're stuck. This car that I have is the only one I've ever gotten stuck on, stuck with out in out on the roads due to uh, snowy weather. It's the only one ever. Like I said, if I would have had a stick shift, I would have gone up the hill easily in third gear. There's snow all over it, and uh, the plow operators were still sitting in there uh, wherever they sat, drinking coffee. The plows did eventually get around. They uh, destroyed my mailbox, but that's another story. So, basically, you start losing power, and then it becomes a vicious cycle until you have no power and you can't go uphill. But these jerks... They're sitting here saying that this is a good thing. They got several videos. What is traction control? Traction control is an active vehicle safety feature designed to help vehicles make effective use of all traction available on the road when it's all running on low friction road surfaces. Yeah. Bullshit. That is a lie. When a vehicle without traction control comes to accelerate on a slippery surface like ice, snow, or loose gravel, the wheels are liable to slip. Tell me something I don't know. The result of wheel slip is that tires spin quickly on the surface of the road, 
without getting any actual grip. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. So the vehicle does not accelerate. Uh, excuse me, an experienced person knows how to uh, modulate this themselves. But the computer can never figure this out correctly. This is why these self-driving cars will never work. I'm sorry, they won't work. You might have these little R2-D2 things. If you work in a factory, they run around. But they're pre-programmed and they're in a an environment where they don't have a lot of problems. Traction control activates when it senses wheels may slip, helping drivers make most of traction that is available on the road surface. That is a lie. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. What it does is it thwarts your ability to compensate for the road conditions and keep your car moving. Now, it's long and complicated what happened. I'm going up a hill, and this piece of garbage, this disgusting piece of garbage, causes my car to lose power, and before you know it, I'm stuck. I would have easily made it up that hill if it wasn't for this disgusting piece of garbage, which they purposely made hard to find, but they managed to turn it off. Uh, so I'm stuck in the middle of a hill, and I'm trying to back my way down to a gas station where I knew it was so I could pull the car off the road. Eventually, I had to call the sheriff to help me out. Many kudos to Monroe County Sheriff's on this one, by the way. Excellent job. And the sheriff helped me get turned around, and I got to the gas station. I had to stay the night in my car in freezing cold weather because of this disgusting piece of shit. Unbelievable. And none of that would have happened if it wasn't for this disgusting piece of shit. I would have easily made it over that hill. Stick shift is a lot better because you have more control. Sorry, I am really hot right now. I am really mad. Alright, here's a Wikipedia article. It says that this was... At least its predecessor was introduced in 1971 by Buick. 1971, Buick introduced Max Track, which used an early computer system to detect rear wheel spin and modulate engine power for those wheels that provide the most traction. So that's kind of like pre predecessor. Uh, a bunch of different things. Bottom line is, if you are experiencing power losses when you're on snow and ice, it's not going to matter if somebody's in sunny Southern California and just driving on bare roads all the time. It's not going to matter to you. But uh, living here in the real world where we have snow and ice, uh, you're going to have to turn this off. This is this, is, this piece of garbage is not just stupid. Created by retarded citizens. It's dangerous. This is why I think it should be banned. And I said so right on one of their videos. I think this should be illegal. It cost me. I was stuck in the middle of the road and I am really, really hot. I was stuck in the middle of the road with cars coming, and I couldn't do anything. Cap helped me get turned around. So my advice to you, 
go to your owner's manual and find out how to turn this garbage off and turn it on. Plain and simple. Unbelievable. Getting stuck in the middle of the road because of a piece of garbage like this. Thought up by retarded citizens. Don't understand how to drive a car. They probably probably came from California. What do you expect? They probably came from California and only had dry roads tested on. They've no, never been out driving in a snowstorm in the middle of the night. So, get your owner's manual if you live in the real world instead of in California or Florida. Get, uh, live in the real world and turn this piece of shit off. I think you'll find your car is going to perform much better. Especially if you're an experienced driver. It doesn't really matter. If you're not experienced, you'll learn. Go to your owner's manual and turn this piece of shit off. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Boiling hot angry here in sunny western New York State. Thanks for watching.